What started as a modest stage production two decades ago grew into a show-stopping, long-running crowd pleaser. In fact, it's our area's longest-running show. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Randall catching up with the diva who created it all. You could call Mary Kate O'Connell Western New York's original diva. At the very beginning of diva, and we were invited to perform at the um, highly regarded and, and very famous Players Club in New York. You may know that Mary Kate started O'Connell and Company, her popular and successful theater company, 25 years ago. Their season is on hold. We still have costumes in the dressing room, and the theater's still asleep, <laughs> and that's sad. You may not know that Mary Kate also created the long running and award winning show, Diva by Diva. We only started it, Mike, as a two week uh, show to celebrate Women's History Month. And it never stopped. Diva by Diva celebrates its 20th anniversary this year. What we have done is uh, assembled a group of women, of leaders, who define the Diva as someone who cares about herself and her family and her community and gets the job done. The Celebration of Women is a fast-paced collection of songs, stories, and humor performed by an ever-changing cast. So it is really a, it's kind of a happening, really, with Diva. It just, we get new Divas in, we get guest Divas in. It's thrilling. Mary Kate says that over the years, more than 300 women have stepped in to be a part of the production, and the show has helped raise big money for women and children's charities, but now, it's on hold. They were very excited about their new home and stage here at the Kenton Elmwood Commons, but the question is, when will the audiences be back in the seats? Of course, no one can answer when patrons will be comfortable returning to live theater, but you can bet when that day comes, O'Connell and Company will be ready to present an anniversary production of Diva by Diva. I think it's very exciting. Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News. You know, we're all looking forward to that day, too. It will come. We just have to get through this new normal and all these safety things first.